Well, hello. Welcome back. It's another week, and we're having family game night. So we, we've actually done this for quite a few years, so long that they've been recycling old quizzes that we took years back. But hey, we, we still have fun taking these online Bible quizzes together. So get your pen and pad ready, or get your get your uh, Holy Spirit bring back to remembrance ready, because we're going to take this quiz on dollars and cents. Hmm. Okay. I actually don't remember doing this one. This could be could be a new one. Okay, we'll see. All right, so let's get ready. Question number one, who gives us the power to get wealth? To get wealth. The power to get wealth. I don't get this question because the answer, God, Satan, ourselves, no one. Okay, of course, Satan doesn't give us the power to get wealth ourselves no one of course god god is everything is the lord's right and he gives us power so i'll go with that that's uh that's kind of like the, the good old christian answer huh all right so i'll say god and and you know thinking back to the story of job right Satan literally had to ask God for his permission to take away Job's wealth because he, he himself proclaimed, you've blessed Job. Of course he blesses you. So, God. All right, I feel good. All right, question number two. Question number two is, who said it is more blessed to give than to receive. Paul, Peter, Jesus, Solomon. Now I know it's in the book of Acts. But is he quoting Jesus though? It is more blessed to give than to receive. So I'm thinking Jesus. But Paul wrote X, correct? Because I know it in the book of Acts. I'll go with Paul. I'll go with Paul. I'll go with Paul. Okay. Dollars and cents. Hmm. In the peril of the tal talents, what did the lazy servant do with his one talent? Put it in the bank with no interest, hit it in the ground, loaned it to a friend, or lost it. One talent. I think this is the the parable where Jesus even mentioned, why didn't you just put it in the bank to collect interest? Could have done that. But because the one with one talent, I believe, hit it in the ground. So I'll go with that. All right. Huh. Dollars and cents. Who lied about the price they sold their land for? Abimelech, Amos, Aquila, and Ananias. Okay. This is the part where they leave the Holy Spirit, right? And they, they lied about selling the price of their land, selling it. And so, Ananias and Sapphira. Ananias and Sapphira. That's the one. So, Ananias. Okay. I'm feeling good. Gradually feeling good. Dollars and cents. Jesus said, it is easier for a blank to go through the eye of a blank than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. Okay, we know this, right? Easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle. Snake, skull, thread, you know, huh? eagle, storm. Interesting. Interesting answers. Dollars and cents. 
which of these New Testament characters was known to be rich? Joseph of Arimathea, Simon the Cyrenian, the Samaritan woman, or John the Baptist? Of course not John the Baptist. Of course not the Samaritan woman. I think two of them, Simon the Cyrenian, wasn't that in the book of Acts? Wasn't he the one that used a girl to accumulate wealth? Versus Joseph of Arimathea, he had the tomb, right? And only rich people had tombs reserved for them, correct? Dollars and cents. All right. Question number seven. Which of these Old Testament characters was not rich? Job, Solomon, Jacob. They were all rich. Okay. Job was rich. But he became poor, became poor right? But he got rich. Solomon was rich. God blessed him as well. Jacob. Um, he was blessed, right? He was blessed. They were all rich. Right? Okay, I'll go with that. Question number eight. Who sat in front of the rich man's gate, covered with sores? Philip, Mark, Lazarus, Lemuel. Oh, no. Rich man's gate covered with sores. I don't think it was Lazarus. I don't think it was Philip. Mark a Lemwell. Could it be Lazarus? I don't know. Covered with sores. I don't remember there being that person name because I I only heard of Lazarus hmm. Mark Mark or Lemuel I'll go with Lemuel process of elimination not Lazarus not Philip Maybe not Mark, especially if it's spelled with a C. I don't even know Mark, the book, the Gospel of Mark. So I'll go with Lemuel. Hey, let's hope we got that question right. Dollars and cents. <laughs> what did Jesus instruct the rich man to do? Earn more money to give away. Support the disciples financially. Sell his possessions and give to the poor. None of the above. Okay. Okay. Back to... Back to what I know, right? Sell to his possessions and give to the poor. Okay? Dollars and cents. Who was the first person, last question, in the Bible to tithe? Oh, the first person. Who was the first person in the Bible to tithe? Moses, Jacob, Abram, Melchizedek. Of course, Melchizedek is the first high priest that Abram gave the tithe to. So I, I don't remember any other characters, people in the Bible, Jacob or Moses, but I remember the mention of Abram tithing to Melchizedek. So Abram, I feel good about that one too, all right? Let's see if our dollars and cents made sense, all right? We are going to view score, Transition so I can find out what we did, how we did, and we did pretty good. Dollars and cents, 40 out of 50, 80%, that's a B. All right, let's see. <laughs> Who gives us the power to get wealth? Of course, God. So here's the first question I got wrong. It was Jesus. They used a trick question with that. But yes, it was Jesus. And I and I thought of that too. Remember, I thought of that. I should get half the point, but 
I answered Paul. Question number three. In the peril of the talents, the lazy servant hid it in the ground. Cool. All right. Who lied about the price they sold the land for? Of course, it was Ananias. Question number five. Camel. Easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle. Ah, question number six. Good process of elimination there I use. Joseph of Arimathea. He was the one that his tomb was for Jesus. Question number seven. Which of these Old Testament characters was not rich? Ah, see, they were all rich. And... Who do you think it is? It's the other L. Lazarus. Lazarus was the one who sat in the rich man's gate covered with sores. All right. And question number nine. What did Jesus instruct the man, rich man, to do? It was to sell his possessions and give to the poor. And then finally... Who was the first person in the Bible to tithe? That was Abram. Abram. All right. So there you have it, folks. Another Bible quiz. Did pretty good. You probably did better. You probably answered correctly Jesus. And you probably answered correctly Lazarus. So you probably got them all right. 10 for 10. Congratulations. All right. Um, there was a little murmur right behind me. And I just want to show you real quick what that was. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is Koa. Can you look into the camera, Koa? And see what's going on? Right there. That's Koa. Koa, our new puppy. Uh almost well, six weeks old. Six weeks old. Look at that. Yep. So, puppy doing puppy things. Say hi. So, yeah. Oh, there you go. Okay. All right. Well, there you have it, folks. God bless you. Remember, God loves you. And so do we.